All right, getting into this, we got. Oh, this is gonna be really interesting. We <laughs> Steve versus me, Brawly. Oh, I believe the names are 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 switched, right? Yeah. Oh, yes, correct. There we go. It's gonna be. I've. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to commentate, Anderman. I don't think I've ever. Uh, <laughs> I don't know my really knowledge on him isn't too intricate. <laughs> okay, I like the mix up with the jab grab there, forcing him into uh or scaring him into into not pressing the button with the jab. Okay, so quick, the quick, quick thing to know about Enderman particularly is when he does go for a card, that's one of his burst tools. Just to oh, either yeah. get into his opponent or get oh force his opponent to pick an option. If you that shield thing is insane. it if you shield it, it's registered as a command grab for yeah, some it'll reason. Command grab you. Yeah. That thing is insane. Look <laughs> at that move. Oh, excellent reaction. Recognized that the up smash missed. Got the up B um, to get the punish there. Able to get the first stock in this matchup. Came up for the burst option dash jack from a little bit too far away. So Jake was able to react and drift back a little bit. Oh, nice punish damage here. Grab there. Looking, looking on the get up option there. And I did like that from Jay Mafia because he exposed himself for a double jump to try to once again read the get up option here. But Jake getting the up smash. <laughs> Having the starting frames of that up smash is really good because the hitbox is actually at the feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very strong uh, scoop there. Oh, able to get the spot dodge up tilt there. That's kind of the name of the game versus Steve. You want to be really, uh, a lot of his combo starters are come from him being really up close to you. He does have good frame data, but not a lot of range and not a lot of mobility. So when he's up close, you got to always expect the up tilts, the, the jabs, uh, the aerials out of shield. Oof, got the down throw up there once again. Wasn't able to oh. stock with it, however. And look at g oh. positioning there. He went towards the ledge, trying to see how Jake is going to land. <gasps> oh, and he read the spot oh, oh, Hard call out. Yeah. Oh, hard spot to read. Excellent stuff from J-Mafia. Yeah, Steve what definitely a character likes to abuse is a... Uh is a uh, spot dodge into tilts because he does get a lot off of it and up close that's kind of the reversal he needs to get a lot of his combos started so j mafia of course recognizing that recognizing he was in a position where that was possible and then got the spot mm -hmm. read off of it very nice stuff j mafia looking to get in unfortunately getting hit with a cart having to use the flip basically me me baller's version of flip kick there to make mm -hmm. the recovery a much a laggier version but a, a decent one indeed oh wow Wow. Dude, that's so odd. I can't, I've never seen this hit that many times. But, uh, I've never seen seems, anybody go for it this many times. It seems like Jay Mafia just has the timing for it. And and it's, it's a situation where he put in too, because instead of particularly waiting at the ledge to go for like a nair or read the get up or read the roll or anything like that, pretty much G Mafia did the Smash 4 classic where you just roll to the ledge, get the grab, you either back throw, and in this case, you mix them up. I feel like he got him on a DI mix up because if I were. If I were Jake, I would have been DIing for the back throw, but instead, the way he got thrown, he literally hit him with the up B. Right. That was it. <laughs> it's possible that people are missing the down throw uh, DI, uh, which isn't like that happens because down like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, hard. Yeah. It's sometimes hard to react to an immediate like grab throw. Like exactly, it's exactly. A little bit difficult, especially when there are other throws on the table um, that you also want to DI for. A lot of people don't immediately react to what throw that he's using. Maybe they're holding. Maybe they're holding in for a forward throw, for example. They get down thrown. Um, they end up going up, or they end up not DIing. So yeah, DI mixups are very important. Yeah. yeah. Try to catch and jump at the upper. Okay, it's gonna be a good damage for Jake coming out. Gonna get his materials really quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's this character's voice, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's gonna break the blocks out of his way a little bit. He's gonna give Jake a little bit more time to, to mine some diamonds and gold and redstone. Okay, gonna build that diamond sword. Now he's very threatening up close especially mm -hmm. with his landing aerial. So you gotta be very careful with them. Got the dash jack with the diamond pickaxe. Tried to intercept the up B with anvil, but was a little bit too slow. Right. All right, Jay Mafia, once again, using that projectile to force the landing, but also really good too, because you want Jake to hold shield to buy yourself some time to get back on stage. Like so, oh my God, and immediately, the man, I'm sorry, I'm losing my words here. Immediately into the command grab, because like I said, you want to force him to hold shield so you can get time to get on the stage or find a punish. And Jay Mafia has been so clean with that. There's the up throw. Gonna take the stock with the up throw there. Gonna get a clean, uh, decent stock lead. 
going. Ooh, got the combo off the minecart. I love that minecart for minecart forward air up smash off the bounce on the ground. Excellent damage coming out. <laughs> Barely missed the pressure plate uh, to activate the TNT there. Ooh, I believe he might have wanted, or uh, he could have done up smash at a shield there, but Jake went for like a harder raid with the forward smash. Maybe thinking up smash wouldn't kill in that spot, but uh, J Mafia not gonna give him the spot dodge when he's looking for. Oh, and he's able to get the up smash uh, at a shield to get the punish there. Yeah. Oh, what a cross up. What a cross up. Yeah, when you have the gold powered minecart, I've said this like a broken run many, many times. It's really good. You have armor. It's really hard to react. You either are forced to jump away from it or try to hit Steve out of it. And even then, you have to be careful because it's still a command grab. What a parry into the up special, though. All right. Caught him falling off the anvil with the command grab. Nice. I love the way he, he didn't attempt to shield grab that because he recognized, okay, this is really good on shield. If I do an immediate shield grab, it's possible that my grab will miss and he'll spot dodge. I'll get reversal, so I'm going to opt to dash back from the shield pressure and then see what defensive option he picks. All right, Jake with the back throw. Looking for more mining of the materials here. Dash attack to okay. get in. Looking to force the recovery. Great reaction there to just cover the line. Trying to cover the landing. Mutual there once Ooh, again. Nice coverage. Sorry, forward. Barely yeah. missed. Talk about Team Mafia looking for the opportunity. Mm. Up the forward smash. Diamond Sword is going to be taking that two stocks to nothing. 1-1 one, one looking like in this set. It's up to Jake taking that second game. What a catch, dude. When you think about diamond, diamond weapons for Steve, the, I know like everybody in Twitch chat has been saying, all right, it's pretty much the arson of the character. And it really is because you take extra knockback, extra damage. From that one, and of course it and, lost a lot. Uh, better, it's better on shield as well. Yeah, safer on shield. And then if you look mm -hmm. at gold materials, they give you faster frame data on anything that involves you using axe, pickaxe, mm -hmm. or the sword. Gold is incredibly good. Yeah, like it's gold. Really his, good. his uh, what was it? I think it's his gold up tilt. I think his gold up tilt might be minus two or something on yeah, shield. Yeah, yeah, minus Some two on shield. Something insane like that. Yeah, that, minus that's, two that's on shield, utterly. and it's frame three. That's utterly insane. That's actual insanity. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta really watch for it. That's why you really have to learn how to play at a safe range away from Steve. And when you're up close, you have to be very aware of how strong his uh, his options are. And that's why your spacing has to be very on point versus him, especially on shield. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Have you ever have you ever played Minecraft ever, Charlie? I love Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I, I play, I've been playing Minecraft since I was like 11, dude. It, this is, dude, Charlie the King is where Minecraft is where, or Minecraft is where Charlie the King came from. Uh, I needed a Minecraft tag and I made it in two seconds. I just thought, oh, Charlie the King. I was 11 years old and I put it in and that, that was that. I thought of it in two seconds. Like literally, <laughs> why do you think the tag is so stupid? Because I put no thought into it. <laughs> God, that's, yeah, a, that's, actually, that's, that's, still, that's still good though. You're cutting off, what'd you say? It's still a good tag if you ask me, even nowadays. Yeah, okay. Awful tag. Z CDK, pretty cool. Charlie the King, awful. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah I love it's, Minecraft. It's interchangeable with anything. So yeah, Minecraft is a good game that I remember playing in oh, high school. And I remember at the time people went to Skyrim and I was like one of the few people who was into Minecraft. That's why Minecraft, like that's why Steve being in Minecraft or being in being in Minecraft, being in Smash is so incredible because like it's such a the game has such a broad audience. It is so huge that Steve was uh, put Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, it actually blows my mind. It's also very nostalgic for me because I love Minecraft. Very nostalgic game for me. One, go! Oh, they're not gonna actually hit uh, Steve off the. I'm sorry, Enderman off the minecart there. And Jake getting, though. getting so much mileage off these up close spot dodge up tilts, uh, reacting to how uh, J Mafia is trying to approach and punish him. J Mafia being a little bit too slow in spot, uh, and Jake recognizing that and be able to get uh, a lot of up tilt uh, reversals and get a lot of damage off of them. Wow, <laughs> the maneuverage there. Oof, and that dare is going to take the stock at an obscene percent. Looked like DI in there. That dare definitely needs need to DI down in a way, but. It's hard to react in situations like that when you don't think you're gonna get hit. Like, if you if you didn't think you got hit, then you, you definitely <laughs> didn't di. <laughs> All right, full job. Calls off the shield drop there. Tried to use the projectile to force different recovery options here, but Jake knows if I'm at the sides of the stage, man, why not go for my card? It's a pretty secure way to come back on stage, aside from using Elytra, which is the up B for 
Steve. Yes, the Ella trap. What? That looked like DIOA and he still got it. I, I am, I my mind is blown. It. Yeah, my mind, my mind I'm, is I'm genuinely blown. Uh, J Mavi just has the timing on that arm lock, getting it so consistently in these games. Because they look like he DI'd that throw. Ooh! <laughs> Activated the pressure plate with the lava. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, getting a lot of mileage off these, uh, these uh, dash tags from pretty far away, uh, but he, he is approaching from slightly further away because he recognizes that Steve, not the most mobile character, excuse me, yeah. Enderman, not the most mobile character, so even if he does kind of see your approach coming, he does have to commit to a defensive option like a shield, a parry, a spot dodge, a roll to get out of the way. A lot of the time he can't just jump, he can't just dash away too quickly because he's not very fast. Nice. Low-powered minecart, unfortunately, here, but he comes back all the way across the board. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that he was gonna spot dodge into a F smash, and I think Jay Mafia might have thought the same thing, because a lot of the time when Jake misses something or is in fear of being punished, he'll throw out a spot dodge, he'll throw yeah, out a roll, yeah. and then he'll try to reversal you afterwards, right? And I think Jay Mafia expected that, and because he expected that, Jake was like, this guy thinks he's gonna spot dodge, he's gonna wait out a defensive option, I'm just gonna hit him out of his weight. <laughs> So excellent stuff to, to, to Jake there. Really good awareness with that forward smash. And the invulnerability for Steve's spot dodge is pretty fast, too. It, mm -hmm. it differs for different characters, too, because some of their invulnerability frames start at different frames, depending on the character and the animation. For Steve, it's pretty fast. It's like frame three to frame 17 of these invulnerable. It's a pretty good amount of frames. That's why you see Steve go for it. And also, that's why you see Steve use Minecart and Elytra to move in as their sort of burst option, because like you said, Charlie, right, they lack pretty much approach options in general i mean that i would show to the center stage gave him that forward smash mix-up that gave him the stock yeah, like, yeah. Uh, so that's you know he it is a little bit threatening when you have if you want to try to punish you have to read is he going to spot dodge after is he going to throw out an immediate move am i going to be quick enough to just hit him out of the lag of it it's it's a very uh scary position and he was able to get the stock for it there oh, let's go banjo kazooie I'm sorry, I love this song. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright, fourth throw. The angle that fourth throw sends you is just so rough that if your character doesn't have good recovery tools, it's just GG's. It is a very ghastly angle to be sent that off stage, yeah. definitely. If I were a little Mac, man, I would be feared. Yeah, yeah. Fearing that fourth throw. <laughs> Shaking in your boots. Caught him out of his dash forward, dash back with that forward smash. Very ballsy call out from Jake, but it didn't work out. Oh, okay. okay this time, able to avoid that. Yeah. Missed the oh. DI that time. Ooh. Missed the DI. Yeah, down throw. Definitely not the best DI angle there. Was able to get the down throw up before it. Able to tie up this game, Jay Mafia. Ooh, that's going to be a combo? Went for the grab. I would have expected dash attack or jab. Tried to catch landing with the forward smash. Had the right idea. Was a little bit too slow. However, it should have pulled the trigger slightly earlier on a move like me brawler Nair, which has to be very, very low amount of lag on the ground. Yeah. I do like the play from Jake, though. He went for the grab immediately after the special because he knows he could try to catch the landing because there's end lag from that. But look at this man chasing him with all the up tilts oh, and the up smash. Oh my goodness. Wow. Can we talk about the interception with the back air. Re read his red and reacted to the drift of his double jump from ledge. Back aired him, got the stock, came back, got the sick conversion. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, in a blink of an eye, Jake is able to take the take the set over Jay Mafia. Those last two stocks were truly incredible, I have to say. Man, I... I I'm, I'm gonna be real. I thought I was gonna see Jay Mafia run away with this with the up throw, you know, up B, but. Or the down I, throw. I, yeah, just sorry, down throw up down B, throw. but. But man, Jay putting this man in his place, moving up 3 1. Truly, can I, I just, I have to stress again that that sequence.